every video game has casual players, diehard fans, and of course, star players. And when two star players shine brighter than their peers, viewers are going to argue about who the better player is. Click like and subscribe and make sure you guys are typing in a creator code to support YouTubers and a lot of smaller YouTubers who need your help. And if you want that to be me, then type in that Denver guy YT and thank you a ton for doing so. Today we'll find out who's better between two of Fortnite's best pro players, Mongrel and Tifu. I know you already have an opinion in your head about who's better, but hold on. Let me explain how we're going to do things. I'm going to use five different categories, building, aiming, editing, creativity, and of course, clutch factor. We're going to rate Mongrel and Tifu on a scale of one to five for each category. So make your own stats as we go. And then let us know how your stats compare to mine in the comments below. So without further ado, let's begin. First up, building. Choosing the better builder between Mongrel and Tifu is difficult because, well, they're both incredible builders. They do, however, have very different styles though. I definitely want to say that Tifu is a much more like composed, a measured builder while Mongrel is faster than any human should be. We're going to consider there are a lot of things for our decision, so let's begin with Mongrel's building. Now, when Mongrel builds, it's so fast, it almost looks like a blur, and you don't even really know exactly what pieces he's placing because he's so fast. You can literally feel the panic when Mongrel builds towards other players. This style of building is probably the best way to pub stomp because lesser players, they won't know how to fight back. However, I do see Mongrel's building style losing some of its shine at the pro level because pro players aren't going to give up under pressure. Pressure. In a lot of cases, other pros might only be a bit slower, so Mongrel loses his huge edge. Regardless though, Mongrel consistently scores well in all pop-up cup and gauntlet events so far that he has played in, which shows me that his brand of speed does work. Now, Tifu pressures with building just as well, except he does it in a different way. When Tifu builds, he's always in control. He's out there playing chess and everyone else is playing checkers. Tifu might not have Mongrel's speed, but he makes up for it by making every single building piece valuable. The absolute best part of Tifu's building is that he always finds a way to win high ground in the end game. The combination of smart builds and intelligent play allows him to build with a purpose at the right time. Let's just say he's very resourceful and he finds a way to score kills without working too hard. Choosing the better builder between Tifu and Mongrel is close to impossible as you guys might agree. We rank both Tifu and Mongrel at 5 out of 5 stars in their building skills, but if we had to pick one then we're gonna go with tifu we'll give him a 5.1 how about that the ability to stay calm and make the right play is all that really matters what it comes down to is that it's better to work smarter not harder the score is tifu one mongrel zero let's move on to our next category aiming and see if mongrel can even the score on to aiming aim is usually swept under the rug when you're talking about important skills in fortnite but if you miss your shot then all of your building all your flashy editing and awesome plays they go to waste both mongrel and tifu have great aim so this decision is again really really hard that's why we're going to base a lot of this decision on who is more consistent and has better habits. Mongrel is one of the snappiest players out there. He almost completely relies on flicks to get anything done, but it works out because flick aim is probably the most valuable type of aim to have in Fortnite. You use flicks in shotgun shots and to build as well, and that's a huge part of Mongrel's game. Something else that I have to point out is that Mongrel is the master at chip damage. He somehow always finds a way to sneak in those 30 damage shots and build fights, and after a few of those, his killer instincts pretty much take over and it's lights out for his opponent. If you want to learn how to incorporate some of this chip damage into your own gameplay, check out ProGuides.com. ProGuides is actually partnered with Mongrel, the real Mongrel himself, to bring you a Fortnite Masters course that he actually teaches himself. So anyways, take your game to the next level with that. Click that link in the description below if you guys want to go check that out. Now on the other side of things, Tifu also is on point with flicks. However, Tifu's flicks are a lot less snappy. In a blind eye test, Tifu seems to rely on tracking more so than Mongrel does. For those of you who don't know, tracking is the traditional type of aim where you kind of follow your target with your crosshair. It's really hard to do, especially when your opponent is changing directions a lot. Weapons like the AR, the SMG are all about tracking, so it's a valuable skill to have. It's also really nice that Tifu can change his aim style to fit the situation. Now, I'm not saying Mongrel can't, but there's definitive proof that Tifu uses both very well, very consistently very successfully that's why tifu is so deadly 
Tommy in third parties and gatekeeping situations. He's able to glue his crosshair on you. And then once you get in close, he is a solid flick to finish you off. So who has better aim, Tifu or Mongrel? Again, we have both at five out of five stars for their aim rating. Don't worry, we'll be adjusting the aim soon, but they're both just so good. But in this case, we have to go with our instincts and say that Tifu has better aim than Mongrel. We put a lot of value in Tifu's aiming versatility because we've seen him dominate fights at all ranges. This being said, the biggest factor for me is consistency. Flicking is less consistent than tracking, so on off days, Tifu can default to tracking and do just fine. The score is Tifu 2 and Mongrel 0. But there are three categories left. Mongrel still has a chance to take home the trophy. Let's move on to the next category editing. Now, oftentimes the last skill that players learn is editing. In the past, editing was something only pro players could and would do. And now if you want to win, it's almost a necessity. Mongrel and Tifu are among the best editors, but this comparison is the easiest one because they have very distinct styles. We're going to place a lot of value on how clean and how practical their edits are. Mongrel's editing is a lot like his building. It's really, really fast. You actually have to watch it have speed sometimes to make sense of his edits. He's able to string together edit after edit in a matter of seconds and he isn't even breaking a sweat. The bottom line is that he's able to make bad edits into great edits because of his speed. If I want to be extremely nitpicky and critical, which you guys know, sometimes I just do that. It doesn't mean I'm better than Mongrel, but I think that a small minority of his edits are just for show. But regardless, if there's a fraction of a second to pull off an edit peak, he'll go for it. If he can edit a cone three times to somehow retake high ground, he can do it. A lot of editing is about speed, and if we're talking about speed, then Mongrel has it covered. Plus, those kind of showy, like flashy edit plays, they make for a good stream, and that's just as important for him as being a good pro player. Now, Tifu, in comparison, is still freakishly fast, but he tends to go for more controlled edits, kind of like his building. He likes to trick his opponents as opposed to brute force them with speed. That's actually the most interesting part of Tifu's editing. He plays with your mind and tries to pick you apart before dropping in. That's why Tifu's editing style is really good at the pro level and he has the results to back it up. This being said, his edits are almost always practical. He's really good at wall edits and we have many breakdowns of how he does it on ProGuides.com. Make sure you guys register for free again. The link is in the description. But for now, we need to make the choice. Who's the better editor? The answer really comes down to speed versus precision. But in this case, Mongrel has both. We're going to give Tifu a 4 out of 5 in editing and Mongrel a 5 out of 5. The score is Tifu 2, Mongrel 1. Let's see if Mongrel can even up the score in creativity. Now for creativity, once you master building, you perfect your edits, you steady your aim, you might think that you have Fortnite all figured out, but anyone who has played Fortnite for a while knows, and you guys know too, that that is not true because Fortnite is literally an open sandbox game. A lot of times the more creative player wins. So let's compare Mongrels and Tifu's creativity. We're going to make our decision based on how innovative they are and how practical their 200 IQ plays are. If you watch Mongrel play out one entire game, you'll see a new building or a new edit technique. He's always, and I mean always, using all of the newest moves and tricks. Mongrel has the innovative part down, but that's not the most impressive part. He's so fast that he can come up with new techniques in the middle of a fight. It's one thing to say, it would be nice to build three tunnels, then edit out and ramp tunnel in two different directions, then finish off with some more edits. And it's another thing to actually be able to do it. The thing is, Mongrel can think of the most crazy techniques and then perform on the spot. That's why Mongrel is so special. He's able to execute the most outlandish plays that make no sense to anyone but him at the time. Tifu, on the other hand, has an interesting reputation when it comes to creativity. Let's just say that he has clever use of game mechanics and I'll just leave it at that. On a more serious note, he's actually quite crafty and I've noticed that Tifu is always among the first few players to find awesome ways to use new items and vehicles and I think you guys would really agree with that. Now, in terms of his building and editing creativity, it's not going to blow you away because Tifu is a textbook practical player. It goes back to how he builds. He prefers to work smarter, not harder. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, he's probably the most decorated pro player so again, who am I to judge in all of this anyway, but I can say is his creativity is more along the lines of innovation than always being practical. So who's more creative? What do you guys think? Mongrel or Tifu?
This choice could easily go either way, but we're going to have to go with Mongrel in this one. They're both five out of five in creativity for sure. They're like top pros in the entire game, but Mongrel's ability to adapt and execute won us over. I totally respect if you think that Tifu is more creative, but my gut told me to choose Mongrel. Anyways, the score is all tied up at two to two. It's only fitting that our last category is Clutch Factor. Let's see who takes home the trophy. In traditional sports, clutch players are extremely important, and that's why they're the fan favorites. It's no different in Fortnite. It's always great to see a player with their back against the wall with seemingly no hope left and then emerge from the trenches as the winner. We've seen Mongrel and Tifu win from terrible situations time and time again, but one of them is much more clutch than the other. In my previous video, I broke down a few of Mongrel's plays, and in every single one, he clutched out. You cannot count him out no matter what. It doesn't matter if he's low on ammo, out of mats. It does not matter what he has in his loadout. He's going to pull off big plays. He combines all of his skills that we just talked about, and he really makes you earn that elimination point. However, something that's out of his control completely is that we haven't seen him in a major land tournament. He simply isn't old enough to compete yet, and that's why on a major scale, up against Tifu, we can't really give him a fair clutch factor rating. Tifu is arguably the best land player. If I had to pick one word to describe Tifu's Fortnite career, I'd pick the word winner. Think about all those times dating back to the summer skirmish, Keemstar's Friday Fortnite, where Tifu played out of his mind for the win, and actually I got to play with him and Banks, and uh, they pretty much destroyed me. Anyways, if you can't pinpoint one specific moment, it's because he has so many. Tifu has three first place finishes under his belt, and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to have a lot more when it's all said and done. I think I made this one kind of obvious. Tifu is a proven winner and is the most clutched player in Fortnite. In this case, Tifu gets five out of five stars and Mongrel, we're going to leave him with just three out of five stars on this one. And that's not to say that he is bad in any shape or form. He just hasn't had the ability to prove himself on a really highly competitive, high pressure situation and competition and tournament, whatever you want to call it. But Mongrel could definitely shine though. And I don't want to throw any shade towards his way. He just hasn't had the chance to prove himself yet. That's why the score is three to two in favor of Tifu. So I will definitely revisit this matchup in the future. So it is decided for me. I'm all in on Tifu, guys. The man knows how to rack up the victory royales. So this is the stat breakdown that I had. Yeah, I know they're all high stars, especially five out of five in most categories. And it could really be a tie, but both of them do deserve it. Let me know what your stat breakdown look like. And I swear I won't be salty if we think differently. Throw all your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll see what you you think make sure you guys click like and subscribe and check out proguides.com from the description if you guys want to support me as a creator and a teacher or maybe you just really like my videos definitely use code that denver guy yt thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video love denver